सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ सेटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन दैट इज सेटेलाइट स्टेबलाइजेशन बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सेटेलाइट स्टेबलाइजेशन वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एन इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज एटीट्यूड एंड ऑर्बिट कंट्रोल सिस्टम सो वॉट इज दिस एटीट्यूड एंड ऑर्बिट द एटीट्यूड एंड ऑर्बिट ऑफ अ सेटेलाइट मस्ट बी कंट्रोल सेट द सेटेलाइट एंड एन आज पॉइंट टूवर्ड्स द अर्थ द यूजर्स विल हैव अ नॉलेज अबाउट वी हैव टू लुक इन टू द स्काई to uh, point to the towards the satellite so in general the geostationary satellites have a fixed position if the satellites move away from its fixed position then the satellite signal will be lost but there are number of factors which causes the satellite to change its uh, attitude and orbit such as uh, um, the gravitational fields of the sun moon and other stars irregularities in the field of earth's gravitational field solar pressure and the pressures from the sun and variations in the earth's magnetic Uh, also the gravitational field from the sun and moon change the orbit of the geostationary satellite with time so these are the some factors that affect the uh, attitude of the this satellite so uh, the attitude of a satellite actually refers to its orientation in the space the major function of the attitude control subsystem is to maintain accurate satellite position and communication antenna pointing for the lifetime of the satellite towards the earth so the earth uh, receiver at the earth knows where to look for the satellite ex exactly and the attitude of a satellite can be controlled so that the antennas always points towards the correct location of the earth attitude control is essential in some satellites to keep satellite solar panels pointing towards the sun also so that the uh, solar cells convert maximum power all the time it's also essential in some applications where selected sensors or tv camera must be pointed in the right direction to capture the data attitude control is maintained by a combination of satellite stabilization techniques now here comes the role of the stabilization techniques and jet thrusters for correct uh, correction and purpose so uh, initially when the attitude of satellite is first determined right after the satellite is put into the stable orbit at but at some point uh, we require to fire some jet thrusters to move the satellite in such a way that uh, it has correct atti attitude For example, if a thruster is being fired to rotate a satellite, so the antenna points towards the Earth, and the solar cells point towards the Sun. So once uh, initially the satellite is placed into the correct orbit, then it must maintain its position. That is known as attitude control, and this is done by two stabilization techniques, which we are going to study here. So there are generally two techniques for satellite satellite stabilization in the orbit. one is spin stabilization technique and other is three axis stabilization techniques so we'll take one by one each first we'll so this figure shows a spin stabilized satellite uh, as evident from the figures these are cylindrical in shapes you can see here these are cylindrical in shapes and uh, they consist of a cylindrical drum these drums that are covered with solar cells that contain powers and uh, powers and rocket motors here these are the drums and you can see these are covered with the solar cells this one is a drum and this covers the solar cell covered with solar cells and these drum con contains all the uh, equipments motors etc for and rocket motors so and the communication system you can see here is mounted on the top of the drum it is driven by an electric motor in opposite direction of the drum to keep the antennas pointing towards the earth such satellites are called d spun satellites The satellite is spun by operating small radial gas jets that are mounted on the periphery. Here they can, they may be mounted this one on the periphery of the drum at an appropriate point in launch phases. And whenever the satellite is re uh, required to be spun, then these jets uh, are fired. The spins stabilize uh, are made to spin on their axis. When the satellite is in proper orbit, a jet thruster. is fired to begin spinning the satellites the satellites are called also called spinner satellites a typical spin stabilized satellite rotates at a rate of approximately 30 rpm to 100 rpm so this creates a gyroscopic or flywheel effect that keeps the satellite pointing in one direction and provides stability of the spin axis just like we spin a top for spinning the stabilized satellite small radial gas jets are mounted on the periphery of the drums so this is another spinner satellite and you can see this is the spinner satellite with communication equipment and antenna mounted on the top motors and or everything is mounted inside this drum and jet thrusters are uh, placed on the body 
so diameter is approximately 93 inches and overall height here is 275 inches and weight is 70 uh, 785 kgs in orbit bring this hydrazine n2h4 is the commonly used propul propulsion mixture as it can be easily liquefied under pressure it decomposes easily when passed over a catalyst and by heating this uh, and passing through catalyst and gas electrically we can obtain high power from the hydrogen gas jets the satellites that use liquid fuel thrusters for spinning use bipropellant fuels bipropellant fuels are uh, the commonly used biopropellant fuels are nitrogen tetroxide monomethyl hydrazine etc the biopropellants ignite spontaneously on contact hence the for igniting biopropellants we do not need a heater or catalyst as in radial ga gas jets we require so if the flow of biopropellant is adjusted properly then we can generate pulses of the thrust or at correct time and in correct direction to maintain the attitude of the satellite satellite uses two types of rocket motors generally they are of uh, jet thrusters or ion thrusters and a biopropellant thrusters fuel that is stored in the satellite is used for two purposes first is for to fire the AKM that is apogee motor when the satellite is inserted into the orbit and second is to maintain satellite in its over for the lifetime if the satellite launch is somewhat uh, inaccurate or uh, it is not properly launched into the orbit then much of the fuel is used to maneuver it into the correct position whereas if it is uh, launched accurately then the fuel required for uh, fuel is saved for the uh, station keeping the, uh, there are also ion engines and ion thrust engines those are not very large but they can help to uh, move the solar cells in the required direction to point towards the sun so that the uh, co that, uh, costly expendable fuel can be saved so the ion thrusters or arc jets are used for north south station keeping uh, on purpose only now uh, see this is the exploded view of a spinner satellite that means whatever is kept inside the drum is uh, brought out of it so th there are telemetry and command beacons receiver reflectors nutation dampers transmit even channel reflectors global transmit and horn antennas traveling weight tube amplifiers earth sensors uh, these earth sensors and sun sensors are uh, relay the data of the posi satellite position to the earth and then in correspondence to with that the stabilization is done or a correct attitude is maintained and these are uh, spun electronic stacks uh, and axial jets, radial jets which are used to fire sun sensors, command receivers so all these equipments go inside this drum now we see another type of uh, stabilization technique uh, that is a 3x stabilized satellite and this is again an Intelsat 5 you can see these are the solar cells these are the antenna and this is the body in which the uh, communication and all other equipments are kept this is again our solar cells so the purpose is again to point the antennas towards the right position towards the earth and to um, uh, point the solar cells towards the sun so that maximum power is converted the satellites can be stabilized by using one or more momentum wheels such satellites are called as 3x stabilized satellites the basic control of such satellites to speed up or slow down the momentum wheel depending on the direction in which the sat satellite is perturbed suppose the satellite is perturbed in one direction then we fire the momentum wheel of opposite direction the satellite rotates in direction opposite to that of the speed change of wheel for example if we want to uh, move it in uh, some, some direction then we increase or adjust the speeds of other uh, two momentum wheels in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise clockwise direction so as to recover the position of the satellite the momentum wheel is a solid metal disc that is driven by electric motor and there must be one momentum wheel for each of the three axes of the satellite the three axes of the spin stabilized satellite are called pitch, roll and yaw a single momentum wheel can be mounted on a gimbal it can be rotated to in order to uh, produce a rotational force about any one of the axes the solar panels are flat in case of three axis body stabilized satellite and mounted above and below the body of the satellite such that they are always point towards the sun it is also referred to as body stabilization whereas in case of spin st stabilized satellite they are mounted on the cylindrical drum it uses sensors to observe the external reference points 
such as the sun, the earth or some remote stars and that, uh, that data is used to control the position or the attitude of the satellite. The attitude correction informations are sent from the ground stations and they can find the th uh, fire the thrusters to make the minor adjustments whenever required. Uh, I have already told you the three axes of the satellites which are required are known as pitch, roll and yaw. This is another uh, EcoStar 5 DBS TV satellite. It is large, heavy and it again it is three axis body stabilized. It has large solar sense and high power transponders. So what we require is that the three axis stabilization is more accurate in attitude uh, and attitude control and position than the spin stabilized satellite. Uh, the in the application where the pinpoint accuracy is required a 3 axis stabilization system is used here again we can see a meteorological leo observation in the intertropical zone a 3 axis body stabilized satellite is used the attitude control of 3 axis stabilization system demands an increase or decrease in the speed of the inertial wheels if the system torque is constant then in order to maintain the correct attitude of the satellite a continuous increase or decrease is the speed of the momentum wheels is required. Thank you.